What's up? This is Craig from Bass Lessons Melbourne and today in this video I'm going to be talking about effects pedals. Okay, so today I'm going to take you through my uh, pedal board. I'm going to play a little bit of each pedal, um, demonstrate some of the features, talk to you a little bit about why I've chosen that pedal and then I'm going to do some of my favourite pedal combinations and talk you through that as well. First off, I'm playing through my 78 Simar P bass, Maple Neck, not sure what the body is, sounds good, does the job. That's going through the pedal board and then I'm going through some rack gear and I'm recording into Logic. So first off, in my pedal board I am plugged into the Diamond Bass Comp Junior, which is a compressor. Uh, this one's specifically for bass. It has three controls, compression, volume, and EQ. So it has what's called a tilt EQ and two different frequency settings, 900 and 250. I've got it set on the 250 setting and it sounds like this. Without it. So you can hear, hopefully, that it just adds a thickness to the tone um, and size and weight, which I really like. That's why I have it at the start of my signal. It's not doing a lot of compression. Compression's at its lowest setting. Sometimes when I dig in hard, the LED changes to let me know that there's compression happening. But apart from that, it's really just a, a tone thickener, I like to think of it. And then from there, I've got the uh, TC Polytune. It's a small tuner that helps me tune my bass. So, close enough for jazz, as they say. Next, we get to one of my favorite pedals of all time, and that is the Boss OC2. Um, octave pedal. Now this guy's been around since the 80s. This one is uh, made in Japan, I'm guessing some point in the 80s. It's not the Octaver, the uh, desirable version, but pretty sure it sounds almost the same. So this one I have set to be fully wet with the Octave 1 down. So this is what it sounds like. classic synth sound and it tracks pretty well um, pretty low so uh, if I'm starting on D on the A string that's down to B B flat so open A is where it starts to get a bit sketchy which is fine with me because that's below the range of a five string anyway so I'm more than happy to to think of it in terms of uh, that range of notes. Okay, next to my Boss OC2, I have the Boss OC2. Why two OC2s? Why two OC2s? You might ask. Well, that's a very good question. Um, and up until recently, I was using uh, an excellent pedal made by Three Leaf Audio called the um, Octaver uh, Mark II, which is Tim LaFave's signature pedal. And it is essentially based on the um, Boss OC2, two of these in a single box. So you can have one um, blended, so with the octave and the um, dry signal, and then you can have one channel which is just wet. And then there's some extra tone controls in there to make it sound more synth-like or more like um, a Mutron or whatever. So I just click better with having two separate pedals with these three controls on each. I mean, I never use Octave 2 anyway, so it's really just two controls on each. So, my second OC2 
is set to a blend of wet and dry and it sounds like this. Next up we get to um, my overdrive distortion pedal, which is made by an awesome company called Crazy Tube Circuits. Um, they're in Europe somewhere, I'm pretty sure, I'm not exactly sure where. And this is called the Crazy Tube Circuits Planet B. And it's based on a, a, like a tube overdrive. So we've got four controls, we've got um, tone, gain, volume and blend. And then we have a switch called Supersonic, which is uh, essentially a kind of mid switch, a mid frequency boost. So this is what the Planet B sounds like. Next pedal in the chain is my Aguilar Filter Twin, which is an envelope filter. Now the cool thing I like about this pedal is it has up and down filter, but you can also have, you can blend between them, um, so you can get some pretty unique sounds. I'm going to have it uh, in my usual setting, which is in the up direction of the filter, and it sounds like this. <laughs> Funky sounds. Most recent addition to my setup is this Boss Chorus CE2B. Um, it's the brown Boss Chorus pedal from the 80s and early 90s. And it's pretty simple. Three controls, rate, effect level, and depth. Okay, so at the end here I've got the Dispatch Master, which is a reverb and delay in one. It's made by Earthquaker Devices and it's a really simple pedal to use, but it sounds great. So it's got four controls on it. Reverb, which controls the size of the reverb, um, repeats, the number of repeats in the delay, and the time, so how long it is between each repeat, and then a mix. So if I have mixed down, I get nothing. If I turn the mix up, you can hear I start to get some of that wetness. But if I turn the repeats down to zero, you can hear I'm only getting pretty much one repeat after that. If I turn the time down, I'm just getting the reverb. So I can turn the reverb up and now it just becomes a reverb pedal. And then vice versa, I could turn the reverb down, turn the repeats and the time up, and it's just a delay pedal. Now lastly, I have the Empress compressor. That's two compressors and two octave pedals. Crazy, you might say, but hear me out. So the diamond at the start of the chain, that's, like I said, it's more tone shaping. And then the Empress is doing the bulk of the compression. And the reason why I've got the Empress at the end is it's got a blend knob, it's got a mix. So the controls are um, input, attack and release, mix, and then output. 
and then you can set the ratio of compression from 2 to 1, 4 to 1 or 10 to 1. I've got it on 4 and then you can meter input, output, sorry, input, gain reduction or a mix of both. So I've got it on both. The Empress, now included in the chain with the diamond, sounds like this. So it just kind of tightens everything up, especially running the effects, it just keeps a lid on that. You can get some pretty cool effects out of it with the, with the blend control, so you can have full on um, compression, really heavy compression, and then just blend it in slightly, or vice versa. I just find that the combination of the diamond and the Empress, because let's be honest, 90% of the time I'm not running any of these other pedals, it's just clean. So the diamond and the Empress just give me a really nice controlled thick bass tone. Let's demo a little bit of um, these combinations. One of my favorite uh, sounds is the wet OC2 with chorus. And then also what sometimes I like to do is just add on a little bit of uh, the Dispatch Master at the end. Sometimes as well in that setup, I will maybe stick on a bit of the crazy tube circuits. So depending on how nasty I want the Sin 5 to be. And then finally, if I'm going full out uh, crazy synth land. So I was talking earlier about how the Aguilar, you can have it um, up down or a blend of both. Here it is in, in the up setting. Here it is in the down setting. And here it is with both. So it's pretty cool. Um, sometimes as well, if I'm just doing the straight up wet OC2, I might kick on the filter twin um, on that mix of the up and down. So here's just the OC2 by itself again. With the filter twin, it just adds a bit of a, an edge to the note. So moving on to the, um, the blended OC2. A lot of times I will use this with fuzz and with the filter twin in either the down or the up setting. So here's the filter twin um, Crazy Tube Circuits Planet B and the OC2 blended together. In the down setting, distortion usually just by itself. Maybe I'll kick it on with a bit of reverb and delay. for guitar solo territory or get a kind of fake wah sound I'll we'll put on the filter twin and 
So that's my pedal board. Um, that's how I like to use the individual pedals and that's how I like to use them as combinations. So let me know in the comments below which ones you liked. Um, do you have any of these pedals? Which ones do you think I should be checking out as alternatives? I've bought and sold so many pedals over the last 10 years. Um, so I have tried a lot and these are the ones that I've kind of narrowed it down to keep coming back to. Guys, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Hit the subscribe button and I'll see you next time. <laughs>